Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gear review. Today, talking watches, this guy right here, which is the Koros Vertex GPS watch. I've had this watch for probably coming up on about nine months as of filming this video. And I got it actually right before a family vacation. My mom took my boys and I over to Hawaii, or Maui rather, the state of Hawaii. And it was a really fun trip but that actually gave me the first opportunity to use this watch in which I ended up going, taking my two boys and we hiked through the Haleakala Crater. About 12 miles, my boys did it in sandals and it was, it was really cool. It was an amazing hike. It was a blast taking my boys through there. They are troopers. Probably the furthest hike they had done to date at that point in time. And yeah, I was able to use the watch for the first time. Pretty cool kind of seeing all the data you can basically pull from it. The watch syncs with whatever smartphone you have through the Chorus app, and you can actually go and it'll show you a bunch of different stuff. One, it'll show you actual map of where you went, your route through there. It'll give you your time hacks as you're moving along, like, hey, you just cleared a mile and show you on the map where each mile marker was and then all kinds of other stats that you can basically look at and yeah, kind of basically take all that data in, depending on what you're looking for, whether you're using it to train or just ultimately see how difficult it was. And yeah, some pretty cool data points you can gather. Since that first adventure over in Maui, I've, I've used this watch a lot. I've used it on a number of different hikes to include a 30 miler I did with a couple of buddies, Bill Rapier and another friend. And it's pretty cool being able to yeah, basically pull that data, if for nothing else, to basically be able to see what kind of pace you're holding. And while you're moving along using the, for example, using the like hiking, there's a ton of different settings I'll touch on in a minute, but like using the hiking setting, for example, as you're going along, it will vibrate and make an auditory sound depending on how you have it set up as you hit those mile marks. So you're able to see, be like, okay, cool. Like that last mile, like we were moving pretty good. Only took about 18 minutes or that last mile took like 45 minutes. We're getting crushed on this uphill. And I've used it a number of different, again, I'll touch on in a second, a bunch of different settings as far as tracking, GPS movement, everything like that. So as heart rate, all those metrics. Um, I've obviously used it a bunch hiking. I've also used it on some cross country ski adventures and I've swam with it. And swimming, for example, it again will give you all of those metrics. It shows you a map of where you swim. I ended up swimming from edge of Coeur d'Alene Lake, basically down Spokane River a ways. And yeah, it'll show you all of those metrics regardless of what activity you end up doing. As far as the watch goes itself, features and stuff like that, the screen has 64 colors. It's 240 by 240 resolution and measures 1.2 inches. The bezel, as well as this back plate, it's made out of titanium. On the back here, you can see all the sensors it uses for measuring your pulse, O2 levels. Right here is your charging port. Over on this side, basically pulls barometric pressure. And then over here, you have your three different buttons. The band, it's made of silicone. There's some stretch to it. I actually like the way the band is attached. It's really strong. One of the things I hate about watches is like, for example, old Sunto I have. Great watch, probably still works, but it's in a shoebox somewhere because the band would break and then who cares? Lucky I didn't lose it actually. But tons of adjustment with respect to this band. And this piece here is captured and this piece can move and there's basically a notch, index notch. So whatever extra piece of the band you have going through, it'll be captured with that. It's really handy. As far as this glass, it's sapphire, I believe it has like a DLC coating on it too. And when it comes to the operation, you have these three buttons. Top one is a light. Can't really tell too much out here in 
like direct sunlight. I will say this light though, like using it at night, if your eyes are adjusted, it like you can basically navigate around with it. It's pretty impressive. The other part, we have this back lap, and then we have this. To unlock it, you roll this up, and when it gets to the top, boom, we're unlocked. We can scroll through right here, showing calories, all your different, how many steps you've taken. Taken 5,350 to get up here so far today. Uh, how much you've actually ran, stairs, Going over here gives you your beats per minute average out over the last six hours. Go here, elevation, looks like we're sitting at 5905 right now. And yeah, oxygen over the last six hours. Temperature, definitely gonna drop. Now it's not on my wrist. And then right here, you will have, you can basically connect it to your phone, get text messages, stuff along those lines. And then we get into other menus. To access some of the menus, you'll press this button and we get into what we wanna do. Trail run, track run, mountain climb, hike. It's the one I probably use the most. And you can pretty much scroll through all of these. Open water swim, I've used that. Triathlon, gym cardio, lots and lots to choose from. And you can also go into the system there too. Uh, for example, if you're going to do a hike, go ahead and press that. And then you can click start and it's gonna acquire GPS and then it'll acquire a heart rate signal. And then it'll say, hey, do you wanna go ahead and start? I'm not going to, I'm gonna back out of there. If you want, you can press this long hold and you'll come into all your different settings here. You can do a lot of different stuff. I'm not gonna go into all of it. One of the ones I use is alarm. You can add a new alarm or of course use whatever. If I wanna get up at five, press that again, come in here. Now it's on, it's gonna wake me up at five. I just back out of it. But I don't want that to go off at five. So go back in here, press it again, off. And all your different settings that you can access through here, of which there's a ton, there are many. One of the ones that I do also use is the navigation setting. When you go in there, you can basically set up courses. As I mentioned those settings, that navigation, it's pretty cool and it has definitely saved me in a practical application. What you can do in the nav setting is you take previously stored routes, in my case, hikes up to the top of Strawberry Mountain, and you can pull them back into your watch and say, hey, I want to retrace this route. Start the route, acquires GPS, it's like, cool, good to go. And as you move along, if you deviate, I'm not sure how far it is, I feel like it's probably, probably about 50 feet, probably no more than like 25 yards. This will, depending on how you have it set up, actually, I'm not sure because I haven't tried it other ways, but it will vibrate as well as make a auditory sound. So it's like, hey, you're off course. And you look down, it says course deviation, and it will show you when you're using that navigation feature, essentially the entire course and then where you are on that course. And you can go ahead and use this button over to the side, the main one that spins, and you can adjust the scale. So. I believe it goes down to a 50 foot scale up to like one or two miles or something like that, depending on how far back you wanna zoom from the map. I usually keep it at about 200 feet. That usually does a pretty good job for me. Again, this isn't like a massive monitor, so the 200 foot scale allows me to see a fair bit of what I have coming or what I've passed, and at the same time not being so far that it's just gone and it's a little tiny squiggly line. So definitely used it, definitely saved me. Going up, even if you've been on a trail before, deep snow in the winter, and yeah, head down, just like grinding through it, boom. Feel the vibration, hear a sound, look down. I didn't realize I was off course. Make it up to the court or make it back onto the trail and continue on. That has definitely saved me a couple times. To date, 
Still one of my favorite not smart watches is the Timex Vibration Alarm Watch. Obviously my favorite thing about that is the vibration feature. And this has that incorporated too. So you can go into settings and set it up however you want it. One to where any type of notification, there's gonna be a tone or you can have vibration and a tone or cut out the tone and just vibration, which is how I usually have this set up. I will say even with vibration only, certain things like course deviation, when you're trying to use the nav setting, it will come back and give you a tone too, which I think is actually a pretty handy feature. I do really like the vibration aspect though, because one, waking up to just an annoying tone, not as nice as waking up to like this vibrating on your wrist. And also it's not obtrusive. You, yeah, you don't disturb those around you whenever you get notifications on this, but you can set it up however you want. And you can set this up a lot of different ways. The screen I have on here, right now it shows the time. You can obviously set up 24 hour clock if you want. Shows the, yeah, the actual day of the week, day of the month, and then you can set up different things. Right now it's showing calories burned, how much I've ran, which is one second according to the watch right now. And then you can scroll through a number of different settings where on this particular face where right now it's showing battery 25% or steps walked 5,373, 51 stairs climbed, sunrise 646, sunset 1859, elevation 5905, and then back to battery life. But that's just one setting. So there's a bunch of different, think of them as watch faces. This being digital, you can pretty much have like your choice of a ton of different watch settings or watch faces depending on honestly just what you like best and within each of those you can also change the colors which is pretty handy having used this for a number of months are there things that have came up that i don't care for with this watch yes but largely they're all like user configurable one of which is there's a setting on here to where motion activated light so if you move your wrist, bring it up, you're like, okay, cool. You can see the time, which may work for some people. I, the light on this, it's bright. Like you can navigate around your house in the pitch black with this, like use it like a flashlight, you can navigate around. So to that end, what I would find is I would just move around in my sleep and now all of a sudden there's light glowing on my wrist. I'm like, oh man, I need to figure that out. And sure enough, it's in the settings. You can go in there, you can disable that. So that is something I absolutely turned off. Um, the other thing, and again, it comes down to you, the user, is when you put this band on. I really like this silicone band. There's actually quite a bit of stretch to it, which is nice. One thing I ran into those, I was like, oh, I want to make sure that like the heart rate monitor is pulling or the like light pulse oximeter. I want to make sure it's doing a good job. So you can put this thing on like fairly tight and I've definitely had it on tight, not where it felt really tight, but tight enough to where it ends up putting pressure that shouldn't be there on uh, some of your tendons and your, your wrist ends up being sore. And that happened to me. It happened to me a couple times. The first time I was like, why is my wrist sore? And then I figured out it was this. And then it happened another time when I was actually out backpacking and I had this watch on and I threw this jacket on by, who makes this thing? Wild Things. It's their Active Flex jacket. Amazing layer, haven't reviewed it yet, but they did a really good job with insulation and the cuff to where it constricts, so you don't get wind or anything like that up in uh, up inside where the insulation is. What happens with the watch though is put it on and it pulls the watch up. It doesn't, like I have to basically fight this around to let the watch come back out. I didn't do that. And so it pushed the watch up under there. Again, got tight on my wrist. Later that next day, I'm like, man, like why is my wrist so sore? That's what happened. Again, operator error in that you'll kind of figure out that threshold of one comfort how tight it needs to be to actually use the 
electronics that are built into it, monitoring those things, and then, yeah, what works for you. Some other notable features about this watch is its operating range is beyond your human operating range. Waterproof to 150 meters, the temp high and low are temperatures you do not want to be in. It continues to work. Something else that is, in my opinion, very important is the battery. Battery fully charged in two hours. That's awesome because when you have to plug something in like overnight for it to charge, not fun. But this, I also I have enough things I need to worry about charging on a daily basis, like my phone, that I don't want to worry about this. The battery in here does a great job. Passive, it'll go for about 45 days before it needs to be charged. Or full use GPS, it'll go for 60 hours straight, which is more than I want to be hiking straight under GPS. So definitely pleased with the battery life on this. Again, tons and tons of features, a bunch of stuff I didn't even go into, largely because stuff I don't use. You can also set this up for notifications to where it will, again, vibrate, vibrate and tone or just tone. If you are getting a phone call, getting a text, getting any type of push notification from like Instagram, things along those lines, depending on what you actually want to set it up to notify you about. Overall, I think there's a lot of value in this watch if you want something that has these features. If you don't want a smart watch, like go get that Timex vibration alarm watch. Great watch for the money, but as far as a GPS watch and everything else this does, especially on adventures, that ability to navigate and backtrack and get those course corrections if you start to stray, that's hugely valuable in my experience. But you can pick them up different places to include Amazon, depending on the watch, color, stuff along those lines, anywhere between about $600 and $700, which when you're looking at GPS watches with all of that built in and the ease and how quickly transfer data over to your smartphone, you can basically get all those metrics. I think there's definitely value there. If you end up picking one up and have some use with it, let me know what's done for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.